part one, we were able to find the area of the largest isosceles triangle in terms of H, A of H, because we know that the area of a triangle is half of the base times the height, and the base is 2 square root of 36 minus h squared, and the height is 6 plus h. Now, this a of h will be expressed as a function of alpha, and we should be able to find the same area. Now, the first trigonometric ratio that comes to mind is tangent alpha opposite over adjacent and the opposite side is square root of 36 minus h squared and the adjacent side is 6 plus h. Tangent of alpha over 1 is equal to square root of 36 minus h squared over 6 plus h. We can solve the proportion by cross multiplication. So 6 plus h times tangent alpha is equal to square root of 36 minus h squared. So we have a replacement for square root of 36 minus h squared. We need a replacement for 6 plus h because we have to get rid of 6 plus h. We're going to solve the triangle for the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse squared is equal to 6 plus h squared plus square root of 36 minus h squared. We can just expand 6 plus h squared is equal to 36 plus 12 h plus h squared and square root of 36 minus h squared is just 36 minus h squared. 36 plus 36 is 72 plus 12 h and h squared minus h squared cancel out so it's zero. Now c squared, 12 is the common fact, greatest common factor between 72 and 12. So it's c squared is 12 times 6 plus h and c is the principal square root of 12 times the principal square root of 6 plus h. 12 is 4 times 3. So square root of 12 is 2 square root of 3. So c is equal to 2 square root of 3 times square root of 6 plus h. Keep in mind that we are looking for a replacement for 6 plus h. Once we get the hypotenuse, we can take the cosine of alpha. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's 6 plus h divided by 2 square root of 3 times square root of 6 plus h. Since we're looking for 6 plus h, we're going to multiply both sides by 2 square root of 3. Therefore, 2 square root of 3 cosine alpha is equal to 6 plus h over square root of 6 plus h. When we rationalize 6 plus h over square root of 6 plus h, we get 2 square root of 3 cosine alpha is equal to 6 plus h times square root of 6 plus h and square root of 6 plus h times square root of 6 plus plus h is just 6 plus h so 6 plus h cancel so 2 square root of 3 
cosine alpha is equal to square root of 6 plus h. We need 6 plus h, so we're going to square both sides. It's going to be 2 square root of 3 squared times cosine squared alpha is equal to 6 plus h. So now we have a replacement for 6 plus h, which means that for the first value, since we have a replacement for 6 plus h, we're going to get 2 square root of 3 squared cosine squared alpha times tangent alpha is equal to square root of 36 minus h squared and e of alpha is equal to tangent alpha times 2 square root of 3 squared cosine squared alpha times 6 plus h is also 2 square root of 3 squared cosine squared alpha. Now 2 square root of 3 squared is 12 and 12 times 12 is 144. So the area in terms of alpha is 144 tangent alpha and cosine squared alpha times cosine squared alpha is cosine fourth alpha. A of alpha is the area to maximize the derivative of A of alpha is 144 using the product rule the derivative of tangent is secant squared alpha time cosine fourth alpha plus tangent alpha times we will use the chain rule four times cosine cube alpha times the derivative of the inside which should be negative sine alpha. Let's simplify the derivative. We will keep 144. We're going to replace secant squared alpha by 1 over cosine squared alpha times cosine fourth alpha plus 4 times negative 1 will be negative 4 and we're going to replace tangent alpha by sine alpha over cosine alpha times cosine cube alpha times sine alpha. Now 1 over cosine squared alpha times cosine fourth alpha is cosine squared alpha minus 4 sine alpha times sine alpha is sine squared alpha and cosine cubed divided by cosine will be cosine squared so it's cosine squared alpha. 144 cannot be 0, so we're going to set cosine squared alpha minus, minus 4 times sine squared alpha cosine squared alpha equal to 0. Cosine squared alpha, when we transpose, will be 4 sine squared alpha cosine squared alpha. Of course, we can divide by cosine squared alpha since, since cosine cannot be 0. We ended up with 1 is equal to 4 sine squared alpha. Therefore, sine squared alpha is equal to 1 fourth. 
and sine alpha when we take the square root of both sides is equal to one half the positive square root sine alpha equal to one half means alpha is equal to 30 degrees so alpha equal to 30 degrees is the max and and a of 30 will be 144 tangent 30 times cosine fourth 30 e of 30 will be 144 times tangent 30 which is 1 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 over 2 to the fourth now we just have to use uh, a calculator to simplify or we can do it uh, manually 144 times square root of 3 to the fourth is 9 so it's 144 times 9 and uh, 2 to the fourth is 16 144 times 9 over square root of 3 times 16 144 is 16 times 9 so it's 16 times 9 times 9 over square root of 3 times 16 16 cancelled and 9 times 9 is 81 we have 81 over square root of 3 when rationalize will become 81 square root of 3 divided by 3 which is 27 square root of 3 and this is the maximum area